All right, hey YouTube, and I'll be sharing my screen right now. This video, we'll be learning how to create a compost bucket. That is what we'll be learning in today's video, how to create a compost bucket. Now, items that you need to collect. Now you should get a white keg, a white keg, and make sure that you have dirt, grass, grass like um, when you cut your yard, or you can just go outside now and go pull out some fresh grass. But no root from the grass though, just grass. Then you have cardboard and then you have compost. Now, you should also know that your compost can be kept in your freezer or in a compost bin. But I will encourage you to put it in a freezer. And when it's time you're going to create this compost bucket, you, you take them out of the freezer for them to thaw, like how you're thawing out chicken. Now, step one, you need to bore holes in the keg. But you should also know that you should not bore them so wide or so big because flies and forty legs and stuff will go in there. And you don't want those stuff in there. So you got to have a little hole. Um, you can use a drill and get the type of, well, it's you, up to you. But I am en encouraging you that you should not have big holes in the keg. Now, step two, you need to cut up the cardboard and put it in the bottom of the, the bucket. Small, as, as you see on the screen, small pieces of the cardboard. And this should be done after the holes are bored in the bucket. Then you add grass. You add your grass. And then you add your compost. After you add the compost, you add the dirt and it goes all over again. You put back the cardboard in there, so it should be three layers. First layer, cardboard, cardboard, grass, compost, and then dirt. And it goes to the second and the third layer. Now, your compost should look like this. It should look like this, the holes. And I didn't want to fill up mine because I have pigs here. I don't want them to knock it over and just, that's why I have it right there. And also, if you have animals, stray animals coming into your land, if it's not fenced, you will need to Either put it somewhere that they can't get it or because the compost needs to be on the ground and the dirt so that the worms can go up in there and decompose it. So wait and then you wait for the magic to happen in the next couple of weeks. You're going to see some like if you put tomato seeds in there, you're going to see tomatoes have come up, all kinds of apple seed, everything, everything will come up in the next couple of weeks and you'll just watch the magic happen. Now, this is the end of our video. You need to please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video to your friends.